So this is what you would see if you just imported the auto ESM dev asset. Go to window, to SD, auto assembly definition manager, just like before. I'm going to dock this right here. Now, um, in the folder hierarchy, I'm, I already did this, but let me just, all right. <coughs> so um, what I need to do is I have to deselect the folder where my scripts are. I mean, where my game scripts are, the, the stuff that I'm, uh, I'm actually working. Every single third party stuff should be selected and none of my stuff should be selected. I mean, none of the stuff that I'm actually changing. And the reason for that is because everything that is selected is going to be put into not necessarily the same assembly, but one of four assemblies. And if you put your scripts into those assemblies, then you have to recompile those assemblies whenever you change your assemblies. That's not what you want. So if you take out this checkbox, then that basically means every single stuff that's uh, that has a checkbox i mean a checker checker whatever so these these folders here will be compiled first and this and then the my scripts folder will be compiled after this this means if i change a script in the MyScript folder, I only have to recompile the MyScript folder, not the rest of the project. I mean, if, if I change any of these, then of course I have to recompile them, but uh, this should only happen if you update the assets or, well, no, only if you update the assets. And this is it, basically. You have to take the checkbox out and then hit start process. Wait for it to recompile, this is going to take a while because the entire project, it will recompile the entire project. And of course import the created um, ESMref files. And it also creates the auto ASMDF uh, folder in the root assets folder. This is where it, it uh, stores the, AS, the created ASMDF files. If this folder exists, and it's not empty, then it's going to create a new one. So it's not going to override anything or remove anything, which was a problem before. Now the, and this is it, basically you are done. So to reiterate it again, remove the check mark and then you are good to go. So another issue this always referenced assemblies tab. Now when you open this and you are hit with this message, this will lead to the exact same behavior as without using ASM dev files. Now this caused a lot of confusion. By this I mean reference wise. So you don't, you won't lose any references. All right. So it's, it doesn't mean that you will have slower compilation times or anything like that. Everything is, um, everything is referenced by default and you most likely should leave these like this. There might be some extremely tiny chance that you don't want to or don't don't want to reference anything so the option is here but really you should not touch this unless you absolutely have to. The best thing you can have is the best thing it can the best thing that can happen is you have slightly faster compilation the first time so when you hit start process and that's it setting it this up probably takes longer than time you shave off from your compilation so really you just should leave this at default and forget about it and basically that's it i mean not much changed other than this <laughs>